Hey guys, I'm John with Hops and Brews, and we need to talk about one of your biggest problems drinking beer. So one of the biggest problems when I see my friends or people on social media drinking beer is their glass. And it's constantly covered in all of these fine bubbles. And people think that's acceptable. Now I've seen this problem on YouTube beer review channels, cocktail making channels, and Instagram beer picture taking pages. It's just not a good looking sight. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, you grab this glass, right? You look at it, you're like, that's, that's perfectly fine, clean looking glass. It's out of my dishwasher. It was sitting in the cabinet for like, you know, two weeks. No one's touched it, so it's clean. You go grab a beer. And you pour it in. Like, yeah, that works. And then you go and do one of those selfies. Yeah. And that's what your glass looks like. Now, I already addressed this in a really old video of how to make beer clean glassware. The way I described it though, was meant for more of an industry standard of how to do like your whole kitchen set. But how do you get a single glass ready for that Instagram beer pick of yours? Well, I'm gonna show you an easy way that you can achieve this and keep this little trick around in your back pocket and it'll last you months. So what do you need? Well, first you need to put your beer aside because you don't need that right now. Second, you really only need two items. And one of them you can find usually at your local Walmart, grocery store, Amazon, even your local dollar 99 cent store. And that is a small, cheap little spray bottle. This is it. This is all you need right here. So what do you do? Get your spray bottle, whatever it costs you, what, a dollar, dollar 25, fill it, oh, most of the way with water, most of the way, enough so that you could shake it, right? Just water. Then all you have to do is just put a few drops of star sand. What this is, is a food grade sanitizer that home brewers, breweries, wineries, cideries, food industry, all use to clean and sanitize their equipment. So it's really simple. You just go and squeeze a couple drops. You don't need a lot because this stuff is concentrated. This little amount right here is meant for five gallons. I don't got five gallons. About that, that's all I need. Toss this up and just mix it up. And now it's just full of foam and sanitizer. So let's take this exact glass and I'll show you what I do before every beer review or a decent picture. Let's pour this into a different glass. Now, all you need to do before drinking a beer or taking that Instagram beer picture. Take your bottle full of sanitizer and just squirt it around. Make sure you're just getting the whole glass internally, right? Get a little swirl, whatever. If you don't mind, just shake it. Get it out, get a towel. Don't put the towel inside because the towel fibers inside will still stick. So we don't need to do that. But this is food grade sanitizer. You can drink this. It doesn't have any taste. It doesn't have any odor. It's fine. Even if you see little bubbles like that, it's still fine. You can set it down and let it come out, but you don't need to. Now we can get our beer, pour it in if we want to, twist the glass to get rid of all the extra bubbles. And there we go. Now that is what I call an Instagram beer pick.
There are no bubbles on the side, nothing. It's a good looking clean glass. All of your CO2 is coming from the bottom up, emphasizing that aromatics, which will make it last longer, which is going to make that beer more pleasant, no matter what style. This works for any glassware. This also works for champagne. This works for wine. This works for your cocktails. Having a clean glass is optimal for any beverage. And it's always optimal to have it this way for your beer Instagram pics or social media, whatever. Heck, even I'm like, this looks good. Now, the beauty of this is you only need about three or four sprays per glass per drink. This is going to last you a very, very, very long time. And I still have this much star sand to go through. It's going to last you years. Go buy some star sand. Amazon, it's fine. There'll be a link in the bottom of the description. Pick up one of these bottles. I'll even throw one on there, but you're probably going to find a cheaper one on a local dollar store or Fred Meyer. Throw some water, throw some star sand in it, spray your glass before you pour your beer, and especially if you're going to be drinking something that you plan on posting and bragging about. This way, you're going to look your best and your beer is going to look its best. See you guys. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Remember hit like and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media stuff where you won't see a glassware with bubbles on it. It's always optimal to have good looking beer. So, cheers.